Hello, Vanessa Webb, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator Australia here. Today I am going to be playing with the Cozy and Bright kit, which is actually a card making kit. Uh, inside there's instructions to make uh, around about 12 cards, I think, in total. Uh, and yeah, so you can, you can create this kit. As per instructions, uh, everything is in the kit uh, that you need to make these gorgeous cards. Let me show you. Um, so here's just two. So yeah, so the, the theme is definitely um, festive, but these could be thank you cards. These also could be uh, thinking of you cards. They're not traditional Christmas colors. There's a little bit of orange in there. There's the cinnamon sticks. You could even give this with uh, some freshly milled herbs and spices or some uh, dehydrated citrus for cocktails, uh, things like that. So yeah, they're really, it's a really gorgeous design and they're super simple to put together. But I thought, why don't I make something different with this kit? And I wanted to show you how I created this banner. Let me just bring it in so that you can see. Uh, so yes, yeah, so if you can see all of the the little banners that I've got on this um, on this length of ribbon. Um, yeah, so the ribbon is, oh, I guess it's a, probably about 70 centimetres long, I'm thinking. Um, and I've got five little banners. And you can probably see um, how I've created them. I've actually cut the cards down and I cut them in half so that the banners uh, can fold over the top of the ribbon and that's how they're secured so minimal adhesive is required. I have also uh, added some extra elements taken from the theme obviously with the cinnamon sticks and the star anise. I simply um, stuck those on with some uh, hot glue so you will need your hot glue gun for this. Uh, so let me just show you very quickly break it down into a couple of steps for you so that you know how to make a banner of your own with this cozy and bright card making kit. Okay, so I have one of the cards here. Now you'll notice that the cards all have a fold line in the middle and they're actually 14 centimeters in length. So what you'll do is cut them down to seven centimeters. So I've taken that to my seven centimeter mark on my stamp and trimmer. And there's one of my um, little banners and here's another one so they'll all end up looking a little bit different from each other because you've got different parts of the design showing there's also some gaps for you to put some extra embellishments on so keep that in mind as you're creating the other thing that you'll find is that you've got um, some plain ones as well so here we go i'm just going to bring these ones in so I'm going to flip these, the end ones around. Uh, so there's my pattern on the front. I'm going to flip that to the other side. And I'm also going to flip the other one on the end. So I've got two planar ones. And then what I've done for my original banner is I've actually run it through the stamp and cut and emboss machine with this uh, Forever Fern, I think it's called, embossing folder, just to give it that foliage look, just to take away the plainness a little bit. And I have used my Trio Punch, which you'll find in the current uh, mini catalog, the current July to December mini catalog. And I've used this little pattern here. So what I'm gonna do is, is um, fold my banners in half like that and punch through two layers on that side. And then to make the pattern the same on the other side, I'm gonna flip it uh, and bring it in from the other side like that. So you'll end up with a symmetrical pattern uh, that just finishes off the banner a little bit it gives it yeah it gives it a little bit of a fin more finished off look okay so for for the end ones what I've done is I've used some of the embellishments from the cozy and bright kit and you'll notice that there are there's some uh, oranges there's some star anise stickers there's some also some cinnamon sticks and I have added those to the end. Let me just bring those in and I'll show you. There are some dimensionals in the packet, that in the box. You'll get a huge 
sheet of the dimensionals. Um, and there's my cinnamon sticks and I've just popped them up with the dimensionals and I've stuck the orange down flat onto that embossed. You can see the fern in the background there. All right, so I've done that for either end, um, as you'll see. And for the middle pieces, what I have also made is some, some letters. So I've actually used the old, um, one of our old alphabet die sets. You could use any alphabet die that fits. I've also cut some circles using my stylish shapes dies. And these are from the Lights of Glow um, designer series paper. And I've cut two of each letter because what I'm going to do is just layer them both up with some glue uh, just so they offset each other and it's a little bit more distinct that word joy so that's how I created those and I've popped them up with those dimensionals as well those circles um, and yeah I have just simply um, adhered some of my uh, star anise and also my my cinnamon sticks with um, the hot glue gun. So you can find a hot glue gun um, from one of your local craft stores. I found mine at Kmart. Uh, so yeah, so these will make a really, really nice gift. Um, you can actually hold them, hold them together, I should have said, with just a little bit more hot glue or maybe some glue dots if you've got them on hand. And um, I don't mind my ribbon being a little bit twisted in the background. So you'll find that um, it adds a little bit more texture. To stop, your, um, to stop your banners falling off the end, I have just tied um, a bow at either end using uh, the linen thread that comes in your kit. So you'll get a whole heap of linen thread in the kit which you can use to tie around your embellishments for the cards, but it also makes a really nice way to tie off um, the ends of your banner so that the, um, yeah, the banners don't fall off. Let me just take everything out again and I'll show you uh, what the banner looks like once it's done. So yeah, I hope that you're inspired to make your own banners. Uh, as I said, these could make a really nice gift for someone if you're wanting to make some handmade gifts. Uh, this Christmas, we're having a gathering where we're um, only giving a thrifted, re-gifted or made gifts to each other, if at all. Uh, so yeah, so I challenge you to um, maybe make some of your Christmas gifts. If you're having a gathering before Christmas, this is something that um, the recipient could hang up in their home for Christmas Day uh, if they don't have a tree or other decorations or even if they do they can add this to um, their beautiful decorations that come out every year and I'm sure it's going to be a favorite. You could even substitute these oranges for some uh, freeze-dried or dehydrated citrus. Um, wouldn't that look gorgeous? Even overlaid on the top of those oranges. Uh, I hope you have fun with this kit um, and don't forget you can grab it in the online store. It comes in a box like this um, and you can make Christmas cards but also some 3D items like the one that I shared with you today. Thanks so much for watching guys and have a creative day. Bye.